Released exclusively for the Xbox, Blinks the Lynx is an interesting title that could have been so much more. Set up to be Microsoft's mascot in the same vein as Mario or Sonic, Blinks had all the potential of a flagship title, but sadly falls short. The story is pretty funny in my opinion. You see, Blinks is a time sweeper who corrects errors in the time stream, which is what monsters form from. When all of a sudden, the pig people take over a section with a hot chick, so Blink goes in to save her. That's it. The genre of Blinks is kind of hard to pin, but if anything I'd call it an action puzzle platformer. You run through each level with a set time limit. Your goal is to reach the end of the stage and destroy every monster that stands in your way before time runs out, or you guessed it, you lose. To do this, the game is giving you a variety of items at your disposal, some more useful than others. First is your Super Sucker, a vacuum that can suck up any trash or random object lingering in the stage, which can be fired at the monsters. Unfortunately, there's no lock on, which can be a pain, but the game never puts you too far away that you can't aim right. And the other mechanic that is really cool is the ability to stop time to freeze enemies, rewind time to fix broken objects, record to make a copy of yourself, and to speed up time to make everything faster. Now as awesome as this sounds, it's not that easy, and can even work against you. You see, in order to use this power, you must collect crystals in a row of three, and a bad combo can cost you a power, which can get you killed if you're not careful. Also, some of these powers themselves feel useless, like using fast forward, or the barely used rewind, and the record, but the worst one is the retry power. If you get hit, instead of taking the hit and moving on, the game decides you can't get hit once or it activates your retry, which pulls you back a few seconds so you can correct whatever mistake you made. Not a bad idea on paper, but because it's your health, that means one big mistake could keep putting you back in the same spot where you got killed and waste all your retries. Now that's not to say that everything is bad, I think the controls are great and the platforming feels solid, as well as the game having a nice design. The game even replays the level you've completed on the ranking screen. There are nice touches and ideas throughout and I could forgive some of these problems I have, but the biggest issue for me is the camera. If they had given me full control, I might have avoided death as much as I did, but the fact is that it moves on its own. This is one of the biggest issues when aiming your vacuum or trying to platform. It is unforgivable. When I started playing, I was having a great time, but around section 3, the bigger problems with the game became more apparent, to the point where I can't recommend it. Instead, play Prince of Persia. In the end, I'll give Blinks the Lynx a 5 out of 10. I'll see you guys in the next quick and easy.